lovely doll so this is the beautiful before and after of this look <laughs> that we'll be doing today today's look is a full glam cut crease glitter and all that jazz and as always we cleanse the face before i did that off camera and i'm going in with a hydration serum and i'm doing that and hydrating the skin because it's an important step in the, the game that we call makeup because we want our makeup to last long so your skin needs to be hydrated supple for those that are oily it will help keep some of the oil away because sometimes y'all are not really oily y'all are just not hydrated so your skin needs that hydration next step we're getting into that i'm doing i'm gluing the brows down not with actual glue but it's like the lamination of the brows with um, a glue like substance and it's giving the hair like stroke that we need before we fill them in so I'm just doing that with the product I remember the product is name right now but it is very very good. what you can use or what I would suggest because I used that before is the got to be glue that's a good one the NYX oh yeah the NYX brow <laughs> um, gel is what I'm using next we're getting into the brows nothing special with the brow pencil because you really don't need a special pencil you just need something that is not too waxy or not too dry that will glide on very nice and easy to the brows and what I tend to do with brows is I create a shape first and then I fill it in lightly and then what you'll see at the beginning of the brows like you can see right here I create hair like upward stroke like I'm creating quite parallel we call a horizontal line not vertical ones however it goes um, from top to bottom um, on the beginning of the brow so it looks quite hair like and natural next I'm going in with a LA color base um, I think this is beautiful honey or something like that I did not use fawn it's a lighter tone than fawn and I'm using this to carve out the brow and I'm also gonna spread it down as the base spread it down a little and then um, blend it out with my black base okay so what I'm doing now I am priming the eyes with a base and I'm actually using the derma blend foundation sample it's just a little pot almost like the NYX pots or whatever other pot primers that you have or the MAC um, painterly it gives that kind of look um, and it helps with the longevity of the eyeshadow and it gives them something to stick on all right so now for the eyes what we are using is the banana fetish palette by Jeffree Star not a brand that I would suggest supporting because of obvious reasons but we you know have it so we use it so the first color that you see me dipping in is size queen and this palette has some very very explicit names so yeah but it's a light orangey slight orangey brown shade and I'm putting that all in the crease and I'm gonna use it as the first transition color and it's giving a very nice blended look and stuff Alright, so next I'm dipping a little bit into Dot Choke. 
pound cake and sunday service these are all browns but i'm focusing more on sunday service which is a lighter more muted brown than um size queen and then don't choke is a darker that darkest shade that you see at the bottom of the palette and i'm creating a smoky outer corner and I'm really packing on that smoke in the outer corner and then you see I'm bringing it in slightly and I'm lifting the brush off the eyes so I'm blending it right into size queen but bringing it all the way in with a little pressure in the inner portion of the eyes in the in the transition area there you see it right there lightly because we're creating a very light smoky effect on the outer portion to create the look that we want okay yeah i to this day don't know why i always say we like it's we doing the look but i want you guys to create this look with me so i do these detail description and you don't have to use this specific palette to get these look just listen to the this, the description of the colors find a color that goes with it and try this look because that's all you have to do practice and blend and practice and blend and you can create these looks as well as you can see i'm back into size queen and that is one of the process with makeup you go in you go out you have to blend 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 which is overlaying on the lane all of that thing blending the colors together that's how you really create the look that that you really really want a very blended smoky look Alright, so now we're getting into the cut crease, the detail cut crease. So what I'm using is a very flat concealer brush and I typically before off the camera squeeze the product into it and flatten out the, the ends of the brush and I'm using the Dharma Blend sample pot, sample pot again and I'm taking my time. This is sped up twice like 200 percent so it's very fast so you guys can see um that i'm really taking my time because this looks like i'm doing something very normal but i'm taking my time and i'm carving out the cut crease all right so now we're going back in with a little bit of size queen to blend into that cut crease that we placed because we, we brought the color all over the eyes after we cut the crease and make a blank canvas so what i'm doing here is creating a slight uh what you call it smoky liner with the shadows that we put in the, in the transition and then bringing it darker so first we i went in with size queen and this is what i'm using and you can see here i'm using the fluffiest brush that i'm going to be using because it's the biggest brush that i'm using and I'm connecting it back to the the crease and bringing it down into the waterline and here I think yeah this is where I went a little bit darker and I went into pound cake which is a dark dark and neutral brown it's not as dark as um, don't choke but it's dark as well and this is a smaller brush you can see the fluffy brushes in my other hand and it's a smaller um, um, fluffy brush that I'm using sweeping it right into the eye the, the lash line and creating that smoky liner here again still working with that pound cake because I'm creating the blend and then here I am going in with the uh, shimmer on the look on the the eyes and i'm using never bitten it's a gold all these shades are yellow undertone but the sh shimmers come off different on different skin tones so for example this one looks quite yellow gold 
in different shifts and I love it. I love the quality of these products but the ethics of the, the brand is not really up there so I will not recommend the product because of the brand but we ain't getting into that because we're not into the polit politics um, but yeah I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush well not a flat but an eyeshadow brush to pack that into the on the eyelid on the plate the, the area that we cut the crease and I'm taking my time doing this so that we don't overlap on the cut crease All right, so after placing that down, we're going to go back to the outer portion and that lash line area and we're going to make sure everything is blended, we're placing back all those colors and all that shade. All right, so for in the inner corner, I went with a brighter, uh, lighter color and I used a star spit or split, I don't know, and it's a whitish more... Uh, more white silvery tone and it's to bright, brighten the inner portion of the eye here i'm going in with the elf power grip primer and i'm priming her face because we're going into the foundation base giving the eyes a little rest and moving along with the, the foundation process next i'm using i'm actually using her foundation here so i can't tell you what it is because i don't recall this has been a long time ago because i've been delaying editing videos i have been giving myself a break life was life in as you can see it's been a while um but yeah foundation you know me it will look like this but it's definitely gonna match her chest and here i'm going in with the elf foundation stick i hate when people call this contour stick because it's not a concert it's actually foundation not because it's deep or neutral doesn't mean that it's not foundation um but i'm using it to contour or to create shadow into the foundation and to darken it in some places as well and to define the structure of the face because as we know having one base just want to make your face look like one dimensional and we have to put in these colors and tones to create the dimension in the skin so yeah that's what i'm doing next we're going in to the highlighting or the con the yeah the highlighting with the concealer um and i'm showing you all these spaces i don't really show this part um but i'm showing you all the spot that i normally do when i'm doing a full face don't do this so much or all these places so much when i'm doing a soft glam because it's a soft glam we want the face and the structure to be soft and not so so heavily defined because you have a softer look on the eyes but this is what we definitely do when we're doing the full face and this is something and this goes with preference for each makeup artist so know the makeup artist and what kind of look and you can see me holding the fan up there what i'm doing there is trying to get the concealer to be tacky so that dry down so that you can see still see it when it's blended okay y'all get that so i'm using the, the fan to dry out the concealer a bit while i blend so that it's tacky enough to still stick and create pigment on the face okay yeah that's what i'm doing and i'm using a beauty blender for that area um because it's nicer and easier and softer in that area especially if somebody has watery eyes with the brush it's a bit more compact depending on the brush that you're using um and my sponges are very soft i bought them from aoa cosmetics or whatever it's named now um so yeah i'm using that to blend out the concealer and i love this to define face as you can see the foundation 
the contour the concealer is all blending together because we're doing those small taps at the edge to blend out everything so i'm doing a quick blend under the eyes with the sponge and then i'm going to go right in with um a press powder and this is the pr the, the blend press brand set and bake the little trend that I'm doing I've been doing this a long time but everybody knows it knows it as a trend on TikTok but I've been doing this for so long and I'm using the I think yeah this is the Milani pressed powder in shade 6 I believe and it has a yellow undertone so I like using it under the eyes for my darker skin tones it's actually a powder for the skin and now I'm baking with the Fenty honey um, setting powder under the eyes to give that dimension and for it to set and last all night okay yeah i'm going over all that with more powder we want it to be a matte look because throughout the night you know the humidity will set it in and then yeah and now we're going in with another powder because we're in the powder stage we're finished with most of the creams now and we're setting everything i'm using the melani again um, pressed powder um, in shade 10 all over the face to blend everything in and now we're creating some depth with a darker um, powder do you remember that I think this is actually a LA girl or LA color LA girl um, pressed powder um, it's in the deepest tone that they have it's great for contouring as well if you're deep because it's very very dark and I'm using that on the outer area and blending everything the contours the, the yeah I'm creating shape and definition with this powder and all that jazz all right, so it's time to bring some color to the face and I'm using, again, Milani. Milani is definitely a great drugstore brand. It's the higher end of drugstore to me um, because their packaging is impeccable. That gold, black, sleek look, I love it. And the quality of their stuff. And if I must say, because I've worked with them before, I know for a fact that some of these things that they create come out before some of the higher end brands. But anywho, it is in Vino and the, the blush is in Vino and it's a very marbled highlighted wig. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. And now we're in getting the finishing touches of the eyes and applying some um, glitter, some abstract glitter on the eyes you know we have to do it big I'm so sad I didn't get a low light video for this look because it's so pretty in low light the glitter the shimmer the yeah all of that makes this look so good this is the great look. by the way this doll is going was going out for her birthday she's actually my 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 relative um, but yeah she was going out for her birthday so this look is great for the birthday dolls that want the drama wants the excitement wants the attention to be on and them want it to be known that hey i'm in the room i am here i look good yeah so yeah that is it uh, i love this look this look is so beautiful so what i'm doing now is applying a light pigment to match that sh that light shimmery um, um, eyeshadow we put in the inner corner and I love doing this with um, glitter because it creates a real um, blend from glitter to shimmer to eyeshadow so that it doesn't look like oh I just dashed some glitter on the eye no and yeah so I'm next I'm you know we have to bring I don't know if this is just 2016 but this is all year round for me I love highlights but I do it soft so I just highlighted her cheekbones with a little bit of Bobbi Brown highlighter and then I'm going in with the lashes lashes for a full face set screams drama screams I am here screams hello yes the 25 mm dramatic lashes that's what we do for this full face birthday look this is actually a bombshell birthday look it's 
you can find it on my dm you can dm me for this look if you needed it done and yes i do multitask when i'm doing my looks because we gotta because you see we, we're starting the lips we're finishing the eyes with the lashes yeah we have to be multitasking so that we can get the client out the chair and go into their event as quickly as possible um the lips is nice nice tone for dark skin girls like we can't wear any color but there are certain colors that makes us look rich so this is like a burgundy ombre lip i love this look the pencil is by um i think this pencil is by la girls if i can recall and can't recall the the lipstick that i'm using this as again as it's been so long but it's a burgundy um tone liquid lip y'all can hear dj and then i'm putting a cream um pinky nude color in the inner portion of the eyes and that is practically it for the look yeah she's cooling down her face because she's under drying the lashes for me because i asked her to hold it up to get her eyelashes dried and tacky um and then i'm just gonna gloss it up i love a glossy lip actually with this look shiny eyes and shiny lips balance it out matte skin yeah love it this look was fire i love this look i love when clients just come in my seat and say do a look because she she didn't say oh i want this she just want she said just said she wanted drama no color but drama and here's the final look here she is at her event looking beautiful nice and crisp yeah 